And topping the news at 5.30, new plans to develop what's called the North Odd Block, a two-acre parcel of land at Buffalo's Canal side. The Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation met today and approved plans for this project. In May of last year, Governor Kathy Hochul announced requests for proposals there to develop that land, and those plans include affordable housing units and commercial storefronts and much more. So, joining me now to talk about this is Steve Rinaldi of the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation. Steve, thank you for being here on what is a milestone day for the state, for Buffalo, for the corporation. Tell us what happened today. Yeah, well, we're putting in piece today the last uh, missing piece for the canal side development on the North Odd Block. Um, you know, it's been since 2009 since we took the Odd down and we've built the canals, the replica canals and the Children's Museum and Heritage Point is underway. And today we moved forward with both the state's gateway building and with the private developer we announced for the rest of the North Odd Block. So this will be the last piece of land down there that the state owns. Is there any other undeveloped land at Canal Side, or this is it? There is some land that the city owns still to be developed down and around the Skyway parcels, but this is it for the state. Okay. Um, talk about what's going to go on this piece of land. We're seeing some pictures of it right now. That's what's called the North Odd Block. Right. That, that is right. The North Odd Block is about two acres. Uh, most people refer to it as the hole currently out there uh, <laughs> uh, on, the, on the site. Um, but um, in the corner closest to Shark Girl is where the gateway building will be built. That's a, a small building that the state will um, put in place so we have operations, maintenance, but it'll also have public restrooms and information booths, security office, and even some meeting space for the public. And then the remainder of the site uh, we'll be bringing in a development team, Penrose and M Squared out of New York City, and they're teaming locally with Weddy here in Buffalo, the Westminster Economic Development Initiative, to bring us the North Odd Block. All right, when I looked over the press release on this, three words jumped out at me, and you just said those three words. Restrooms, <laughs> security, parking. Yes. So how do those three things fit into this, what we're announcing today? Well, the, the private development will actually have two levels of structured parking all underground, approximately 360 new spaces to canal side. And then on top of that parking deck, the developer will be reconstructing the missing historic streets as well as a public plaza. And then surrounded by that will be these four or five buildings of, you know, really active ground floor level. We'll have new restaurants and shops down there. And then we'll also have up to 300, uh, almost 370 new residential units coming to Canal Side. See, this is the activity that we've been waiting for, that we've been talking about, that we see in other cities. This is going to come in this last parcel here, right? Yeah, it is. You know, a few people um, have been down there. There's, there's a few restaurants, obviously, at Canal Side that are doing well but this is really going to infill and bring us um, we think almost a dozen more retail and restaurants to the site timetable on this um, we have some work to do with the developer over the next few months and then um, they'll be putting their financial package together as well as construction drawings that will be approved by us in 24 and uh, we expect to break ground in early 25 Okay, I want to talk about the money because you, you mentioned the big hole down there. I was just yeah. down there the other day. There is a giant hole yes. down there. Yeah. And so that right there, that hole, is that's going to be the gateway building. Is that right? The hole is the entire site. So the gateway building will be um, closest to Shark Girl, but the remainder of that will be the rest, the private North Odd Block development. Okay, um, I saw a price tag of $14.25 million. Yes. That's for the gateway building. That is correct. It's going to be near Shark Girl. Yep. Interesting place that that funding is coming from. Tell us where that's coming from. Um, that's actually from our New York Power Authority funding source. Um, and, you know, to be honest, that is the main fund source that we've used over the last few decades to um, move Canal Side forward, but also the Outer Harbor. This was what uh, Congressman Higgins had fought for, and of course others as well, but that power funding. That's where this is going on the waterfront here. It, it is. Um, last summer, Governor Hochul had us actually expedite the funding with the power authority. So rather than that coming over a few more years in an annual stream, we got um, a, a giant lump sum payment last year. And so we're able to expedite a number of projects on the governor's behalf. Steve, before you go, and of course, we'd love to have you back because this is an ongoing project that will take years. 
Um, is there anything else that people should know about what's happening at Canal Side? You know, it's going to be another great year down there. We're just a little ways away. We had that taste of summer this past weekend, but um, really we'll kick it off on Memorial Day like we do every year. Um, we've got, you know, a number of events at Canal Side planned as well as the Outer Harbor. So every year we continue to grow the offerings, um, and the good news is in the next couple of years we'll have a lot more permanent offerings as well. That's great because we are all drawn to that waterfront now and have watched it develop over the years. Steve Rinaldi, thank you very much. And, of course, we wish you well with these endeavors. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, Jackie.